This video is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. We are currently touring the World Atlantic Way in Ireland and this park up might just have been the most beautiful place that we have ever stayed at. And in this week's video, we're going to tell you exactly how to get there. It is so beautiful down here. We are Gemma and Campbell and we are currently touring the beautiful Wild Atlantic Way coastal route in our home on wheels Ellie the Eldest. You join us for a week of adventure as we discover one of the most beautiful and secluded park ups that we have ever visited. As well as visit some of the coolest sites in this breathtaking part of Ireland. If you are new around here and want to see more of van life in Ireland then hit subscribe and join the gang. And let's get stuck in as we wake up with one hell of a view to remember. This was our park up last night. It's a small little pier called Mount Charles Pier and some of you might remember it from last summer. We actually based ourselves here for a few days because it is literally just perfect. So we have got stunning views, literally right in front of the van. Just over there behind me, really cute little cafe with a petting zoo. It's actually got goats, chickens, peacocks, owls, all rescued animals. And the owners of it are just so lovely. We are actually chatting to one of the guys last night because we went over to go and see the goats getting fed and one of the goats ended up getting his head stuck in the fence. So I had to go and get him and get some help to try and actually release it again. But I just love it here. I honestly just love it. The signal's really good, there's waste disposal, there's water topping up and it only costs 10 euros per night. Plus the views from here. It was so still last night. We walked out onto the dock over there and we actually saw... We don't know whether it was a seal pup or whether it was just a massive sea otter. I mean we could just see its head like bobbing up and down every now and again. Alright, so we're just arriving at Ballycroy Visitor Centre. That looks pretty cool. That looks like a big classroom. Oh yeah, buses. VIP, baby! Okay. Very quick lunch today, we're just using one of these little tortellinis. We've got some nutritional yeast, cashews, olives, chilli oil, salt pepper and lemon juice. We're going to bang it all together and make a nice wee pasta thing for lunch. What was that, babe? into a forest in here. Why? Because we've been going by all the bushes and the window's like slightly ajar so it's just like shaving off all the leaves. Like. <laughs> There's a few of what we're dealing with. Look at that, in the hell? And yes, the bathroom has fallen apart because the floor was still a little wet after the shower so I haven't had a chance to put it all back together yet. This one implying that she ever tidies up. I know. Uh, you do do it a lot of the time, don't you? I'm going to do it today though because... You're cooking lunch. So what, do you want these on your lunch then? So why are you giving them to me? <laughs> what? So I'm going to do it today because you're cooking lunch. Here, go and put this in the bin. That doesn't even make sense. So coming out of the visitor centre, you actually come out onto this boardwalk. And I actually remember reading about this online. From my recollection, the boardwalk kind of goes around this whole path basically through this um, national park. It takes you to some beautiful sites that are really, I guess, accessible and easy to get to because of the boardwalk. Looking at the photos inside that visitor centre, I'm very, very gutted that we're not visiting here during the winter again because the stars here will just be absolutely incredible. Apparently it's one of the best places to actually view the night sky in Ireland. I think that's just because of the lack of light pollution in this area because I was reading in there that this particular part of Ireland, Ballycroy, didn't actually get electricity until 1964, which is quite mind-blowing. So from this viewpoint we can actually see across to Ackle Island, which if you remember last year we went camping over there and honestly stayed at some of the most beautiful spots I think we have ever stayed. Yeah, I think that was when we stayed in a place called Keem Beach, which we thought was going to be a little secluded private kind of getaway, but it turned out to be one of the most popular beaches in Ireland because I think it was voted as one of the best beaches in the entire world. We still got a really good park up though and I think we went for a world swim. Look at you! I never remember if caterpillars in the UK are venomous or not. Oh, he's alive. Oh, that's good. Sweet. I feel like I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I feel bad. Sorry. Hopefully it'll just go in the grass and not no. get stood on now. Oh, eaten by a bird. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, well, the weather has well and truly turned on now. It's hard to kind of predict what it's going to do at the moment. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's rainy, but we're kind of making the most of the rain to sit in and get some work done. At the moment, we've got about 50 balls in the air juggling between our new different products, and it's all really exciting, but it does also lead to a lot of stress and a lot of burnout. So it's a really good time for us to mention this episode's paid partnership, which is with BetterHelp. 
Campbell and I have been using BetterHelp for about six months now and I have to say it's one of those things that I didn't actually realise that I needed until we started it. I'm one of these people that I like to talk about my problems and just go on a big ramble so I actually do really genuinely enjoy these sessions and I always feel like I leave with a big weight lifted off, the, off my shoulder that I didn't even realise that I had. Running our own businesses has led to some stress, burnout and anxiety for us and I feel like just having that session with a BetterHelp therapist allows us to have a meaningful discussion about the challenges that we're facing. Both of our therapists are really good at giving us pointers and exercises to help us manage this burnout and anxiety that we face. I highly recommend anyone that is in the position to do so to give therapy a try, even if you don't think that you need it. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service, offering access to experienced and credentialed therapists who can assist with a wide range of issues. To get started, you simply answer some questions about your needs and preferences and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that's suited to you. You can then choose to chat with a therapist via text, voice call or video call and schedule your sessions at a time that's convenient for you. And if your therapist doesn't feel the right fit for you, for whatever reason, at any time you can change your therapist for no additional cost. With BetterHelp you receive the same professionalism and quality as you would with office based therapy but with a therapist that is custom picked for you. If you are ready to begin your therapy journey you can get 10% off by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash highlands that's betterhelp.com forward slash highlands. I've also provided a link in the description box below and we wish you all the best with your therapy journey. Oh, it's it was. A this is like a proper little hidden gem. Absolutely by accident someone across here. I think I took the wrong turn, to be honest. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to come down this way. Wow, look over there. Oh wow. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that is not a bad view. So we've actually driven a good distance since the last time we spoke to you, all the way around the coast, um, because basically the last two days, the weather has been ridiculous. Non-stop rain. I think it rained for about 72 hours straight. Well, we've come down to a place called Bunwee Head. I was trying to head out to that headland, which I think is just over there, to try and get some photos of it. Took the wrong turn and ended up down at this place called Rinro Bay, and I'm very glad that I did. It is so beautiful down here. Maybe it's just because it's the first time I've seen the sun in two days, but it just feels very secluded and like very kind of picturesque. There's like cliffs all the way along this in front of where we parked the van. A beautiful big stretch of beach on that side, big stretch of beach on that side, and this quaint little harbour just off in the distance. And we've even got some portaloos and some neighbours. Hiya! We've got some carbonara for dinner. Basically, I had some leftover fake bacon in the freezer. Decided to just chuck that all into a pan. Single cream, courgette, pepper, cheese, and tagliatelle. Oh, and. Oh! Garlic bread. How much did you say you got that in the shop for, babe? Oh, I feel like it was like 30 cents or something. Yep, you said uh, if we ever go bankrupt, we'll be living off garlic bread. So yeah. I'm, I'm... Obviously, that's a no brainer. That is going in my basket. There you go, babe. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Right, taste test. Does it need any of this on it or is it all good? Well, you can add some fish food to it. Fish food. Don't you just like love that he calls this fish food? I mean, to be fair, it does kind of look like it, but it's definitely not fish food. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. Let's not make a mess of this. Mmm, that's so good. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Garlic bread. Success. And a view. Look at that. Winner. Thank you. Guys, I just quickly wanted to let you know our very exciting news. Our brand new North Coast 500 map is now available for pre-orders. We're expecting it to get printed and be fully available, shipped out to you in the next couple of weeks. But we're just so excited for this. When I say we've been working tirelessly on this, I am not exaggerating. Literally, sleepless nights, blood, sweat and tears, all gone into making the most detailed North Coast 500 map on the market. And we would just love your support. If you do want to pick up a copy, I'll put a link down here, put a little QR code here, you can scan it, get yours ordered today, and we cannot wait to start sending them out to you. Anyway, let's get back to the video. I 
guess this is the perks of having our own private beach. Yeah, look at that attire. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows that this is just me all over. <laughs> like, I just love it. It's like literally fleece lined. It's a little bit cooler, so we have nice temperatures to just feel all wrapped up and cozy in it. Oh. Living my best life. So last night's park up, definitely one of our favourites. I would Honestly. say, like, there's nothing too. quite like just waking up to the sound of the ocean, literally 20 metres away from your van. I, I can't quite describe it, I had one of the best sleeps I've had. Yep. And um, yeah, top spot. There's literally one other van here, and you can just see it in the distance over there. And there's, it's so remote, but there's Signal, and there's Portaloos. It's just perfect. So today's mission is we're trying to get all the way down to Ackle Island because it's supposed to be sunny until about 2pm. Also, you may have noticed, we're looking more and more like a bin lorry every day. And that's basically because again, we're just struggling to find waste bins. So that's on today's agenda, let's try and find a bin along our way. I am absolutely not one to wish away summer, but one thing I'm enjoying about the colder mornings is I get to have a big bowl of porridge. I think that has been honestly like the resounding kind of theme throughout this entire road trip in Ireland so far is just how empty the roads actually are. We're just saying we feel like we could actually be back in the Outer Hebrides on the Isle of Uist in the off season because there's just literally no one on the road. And for such like a big popular road trip like the World Atlantic Way, I can't actually believe how quiet it is middle of July, sun is shining, fair enough the past couple of days it wasn't, but it's just blown my mind. Oh look, that is quite cute. It's just like a little tidal pool just outside the road. Okay, public tidal pool with lifeguards during the day, port and drinking water tap about halfway along the parking spots. We're going away hunt. I think one of the good things about this road trip that we've found so far is just how easy it is to find water. Like there's literally water at so many points around the coast, like pretty much every service station. Here we've just come across a beautiful little natural swimming pool and there's just a water tap in the car park. I guess it's to like rinse your feet off or whatever else, but no one actually minds you using it. So for our last stop of the day, we've actually ended up coming on to Ackle Island. This is a view we're admiring right now. Massive cliffs over there and all the way out to sea. Just driving back onto the island though, I remember what we said last time. It basically just reminds us of like a tiny little Isle of Sky, Just like a winding road with massive mountains on either side. And all of a sudden it's seeming very, very busy. I guess it's like these kind of focal points concentrate everyone onto the one part of the road trip. But it is a very beautiful place. So we're walking up to Ackle Henge, which honestly is a nightmare to find. We didn't actually go to it last time we were here, but from my memory we did try and go to it, but we couldn't find it so we just kind of gave up and decided to move on. This time we're trying to find it, um, and let me tell you, it's taken a lot of wandering around and a lot of searching to try and get here. Hello, is it this way to Ackle Henge? Oh dearie me. That's oh, alright. We come in peace. Now pretty much everything I've read online talks about how difficult it is to actually get to here and I can completely see why. We basically parked outside the church that sits in Paula and then walked along the road by about 400 metres and just happened to spot the tiny little signpost that sits on the right. Now there is a road majority of the way, however it very quickly turns into more of like a stony path that I wouldn't really recommend bringing a car up. And to be honest, now that we're here, it is actually Quite impressive. I had no idea what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Aha, and there it is. It's really strange, like I just wonder why it was built and why still nobody knows why it was built. Yeah, I think it was constructed 
quite far into the 21st century, it was about 2011 from my memory, and he still sits here, 12 years later. And now it's like covered in cool graffiti. It's like very Banksy-ish. Wow. It's actually huge. It's 100 meters in circumference all the way around it. Imagine coming up here at night though, like lying looking at the stars. That'd be so creepy. This is very cool. No matter how much protection you put in your van, guys, it's never enough. We just caught two potential burglars red-handed. Excuse me, who do you think I'm you are? Now. Caught red-handed. Red-hoofed. To be honest, it's probably flat enough. Yeah, so I reckon we're just going to park here for tonight. Not as glamorous as last night, but you win some, you lose some. We're going to send this off here, guys, because I am exhausted. And that is like our Ackle Island section of the route finished. I know, I can't believe it. I'm really, really excited to start getting further south again yep. because it's been, oh, like five or six years, I think, since we were last down south. South of Galway, south. definitely. So I'm really, um, really excited to get down that way again and hopefully then we can start to slow down a little bit, spend a bit more time sort of relaxing exploring, and exploring. I think getting we have there. been flying around the route, you might have noticed, um, because we've basically done all this before. We did this last summer. We're just desperate to get all the, the finishing photos that we need for the book. When we get south of Galway, we're going to slow right down, do a lot more adventuring. We've got a few hills in mind that we want to do, a few hidden beaches we want to go and check out, and we're very excited for that. But for this week, guys, we're going to say goodbye, and we'll see you next time. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up, and catch you again in the next one. See ya!